Karl Friedrich Paul Ernst was a German writer. He was born in 1866 in Elbingerode in the Harz. The son of mine supervisor Johann Christian Friedrich Wilhelm Ernst and Emma August Henriette Rittmann. He attended what is now the Robert Koch Schule in Klaustal Zellerfeld and studied theology and philosophy at the universities of Göttingen and Tübingen. Ernst was an opponent to Marxism after Friedrich Engels called him a shallow opportunist in the Berliner Volksblatt. In 1905 and 1906 he was a dramaturg in the Dusseldorf Schauspielhaus. In 1916 he married Elsa von Schorn. In 1933 he was awarded the Geffe Medal but died shortly after on May 13th in St. Georgen an der Stiefing Steiermark. We will review one of his early collections, the 1901 Six Stories. Thus Grauen has a few people look down a hole to watch a man be whipped, and take bets on which of his limbs will be whipped next. But then several people jump down the abyss, one fat man jumping up and down like a rubber ball, while another just dies. And then the story describes a non-distinct human entity going on about the great shining stone atop the castle above the catacombs. Julian and Celia has Prince Julian be deathly afraid of women, so when he meets Celia he just sits next to her every day on a bank. And as he gets more and more depressed, his father, the king, thinks he is a witch who stole his soul. And when she refuses to marry his son, he has her burned to death. The lonely has a youth idle about before he gets insulted by a flower and then gets chased around by the literal incarnation of nothing. That devours everything behind him so that he becomes feared as one who brings death everywhere he goes. In The Phantom, we see a German magician sit around in his room, willing a grotesque disembodied floating head with a huge hole in the back of the head and bits of bloody tube sticking out into being. This he randomly sicks at a mandarin in China for no apparent reason. After summoning a huge gathering of souls to watch him do it for no apparent reason, the mandarin is sat in China bored, and his wife actually says how wonderful it would be if he had a second wife. So his father-in-law gives him money to pay the parents of a woman the mandarin and his wife somehow saw in their pool. Then the phantom shows up and pesters him. So the mandarin goes to Germany, finds the magician, sicks the head on him and leaves. The magician is so bothered by the head he rather makes it a body, calls it his son and pays him money to stay away. Then the dead man goes to China to marry the mandarin's second bride. His new wife is wondering about the metal plate in his skull and he admits to her he is dead and has no soul. So she tells everyone she knows. Then the mandarin shows up and offers to be the dead man's soul and climbs into his mouth. Only for him to block any attempt of the dead man to make love to either of his wives. So the magician has the mandarin stuck into a glass bottle. The story felt as if Ernst had no idea how to end it and just kept going until he came up with an ending. The two pilgrims has two pilgrims meet on a mountain path where none can pass but one at a time. And where it is impossible to go back both trapped, hanging off the side of the mountain. But then it turns out both pilgrims are the same one and somehow became two people without noticing during their journey to the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. The strange city is the best story in the book. Some European engineers travel in China beyond the edge of civilization into a waste and discover a giant glass mountain and beyond it an empty city where everyone just died for some reason and then find a motionless princess sitting in a castle and when Garrett touches her a contagion begins to envelop his body no matter how much of it he and his friend lop off with a knife. 